Hey, you two. How are you? Now, I was going to have a little visitor, so I chopped up carrots for the little visitor. And she's not coming, and I was going to show her how to feed carrots to horses. And so I'll show you guys. In that, you need to have your hand flat like this. No, 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 no. So you have your hand flat and you don't put your thumb up like that. So if you put your thumb in the way, it might get nibbled. But you put your thumb flat and it gets, see, thumb, whoops. Ow, ow, that was my thumb. See, perfect demonstration. She bit me very hard, thinking it was a carrot. So you put your thumb, no, Marco, don't eat it. You put your thumb there, and you bit me. But it was my fault, because I put the thumb in the way. So you put the thumb flat, so that the horse doesn't think it's a carrot. There you go. So that was a perfect demonstration in why you hold your thumb flat for the pony to eat the carrot off of. Now Marco Polo has been around long enough with children under my tutelage, so he doesn't bite people. But little Missy here, look at that, gave me a huge bite. I'm gonna have a lovely bite bruise now. So there we go. But you can see that, always hold the thumb flat and the pony can eat it. And you, you're not bold because it was my fault. It was totally my fault, but you totally chewed my thumb. Anyway, the colander is empty of chopped carrots. But now you know why you want to have your thumb flat when you're feeding a pony. Because they might think it's a carrot. Isn't that right? Yes. It's not your fault that my thumb is feeling very painful. It is your fault, but it's not your fault. It's my fault. There we go. And there were no carrot droppings for some people. None whatsoever. The colander is empty. Yep, none. All empty, all gone. Right guys, the rain prevented your visitor from coming. My thumb is gonna look very interesting later in the day. There we go.